to your place. Hey there, this is Teal bringing another Kerbal Space Program video. In today's video, I thought I would try to build the smallest possible satellite that I can put into orbit. And to start, I thought about the uh, ComSat, which is one of the stock vehicles you get in Kerbal Space Program. Interesting design, definitely much smaller than anything I'd ever started with uh, when I started putting things into orbit. Uh, one thing that does help is the payload doesn't have to uh, fit a Kerbal, so that's a relatively uh, light payload. Let's see how, how light that is. Trying to get, oh, there we go. It's a cog. 0.38 tons. Satellite itself is 0.38. So, let's see. Uh, total cost of the vehicle, 64.72. Let me see if I can put build something cheaper than this. That's going to be my um, that's going to be my wind condition. Satellite's got to have an antenna, got to generate power, and it's got to be able to maintain control of itself, so which means it's got to have a probe core, obviously. And it's got to be cheaper than 6472, 6472 credits. So let's see what I can do. So to start, I like to sort by mass. So there's the lightest probe core. I think the previous one was using this one, the probodobodyne OKTO. It's got 10 electric charge. Small unit can only receive and relate. It's also lots of automatic stabilization. It doesn't say anything about a control control wheel. Fitted with internal reaction wheel. So this one's going to be a little more expensive. 200 more credits. Same uh, weight. No reaction wheel. This one doesn't have a reaction wheel. This one's the smallest. So I don't think I'll put a reaction wheel. So five units of charge is not going to be enough. So I need to figure out how I want to power this thing. Uh, an RTG gives me 0.08 tons compared to a rechargeable battery, which is 0.05, which is much lighter. But the uh, photovoltaic panels that I'll need to keep it charged, 0 0.08, 0 0.04. So two of the photovoltaic panels. Oh, geez, which are not the lightest. I used. To, I don't know why I've always thought these are basic and simple. Although I'm selecting the wrong one. Dang it! It's this one. 0 0.005. So technically, four of these plus the battery is going to be lighter than an RTG. So let's go that route. 0 0.005. And we'll do a. Symmetry of four. And then we need an antenna. So communication, 0.05. And I'll go ahead and put at least two. All right, that's our payload. Um, if we really wanted to, we could put a small bit of fuel Still sorted by mass, 0.04. I don't know if either one of these. Okay, yeah, the battery will will uh, snap to the tank, but not vice versa. So go ahead and put it a tank and a single RCS thruster. Uh, I would put it on the bottom in the center, but I don't know that I can put a decoupler on, on an RCS thruster. Nope, I cannot. And I don't know that that clipping is going to be an issue. Let me try that then. I don't know that I could put a decoupler on a tank either. No. Try to center it as best I can. And I cheat a little. Do a smidgen of part clipping. Actually, I'll cheat a lot. No. 
place the battery there so that it clips into the tank. It's an interesting look. So that thruster should be pretty close to the center of gravity, which is still pretty much running through the middle of the craft. Okay. So it's not going to give me a delta V reading on that thruster, but that gives me a little bit of control. And now if I snap my decoupler and drag it down here, that looks about right. So now I need a way to get this payload into orbit. Let's see. Let's see what I can do with a smaller SRBs. The shrimp's pretty cheap, 1500, uh, 150 credits. The hammer is also pretty cheap. It's got a lot of thrust. So let's see if I can see where I stand. 2800 so far. 3300. 65. So we're going to call this the PicoSat. already forgotten. 6700 is my limit. Okay. So I'm considerably cheaper already. Two SRBs. That's plenty of Delta V. Question is not going to give me a lot of control, so how much control do I really need? So one option, these basic fins, stabilizes me a little. Another is adding to the payload, um, which is probably the right thing to do, adding a reaction wheel. That's if I can eyeball that how to get it right in the middle or as best I can yeah that reaction was pretty important because if I'm oriented in the wrong direction that one little thruster was not going to be enough to allow me to maneuver right, re-offset that just so it's not clipped can't connect the decoupler to the thruster, but let's pretend we can. Okay, 4,000. So I've got 2,000 credits to spare. Go ahead and save. Another option then is 300 credits on, on a fairing. Bearing there, I suppose. Put the hitch in there. All right. So technically, this would get to orbit. The problem would be a lack of control. Let's see how much that one little fuel tank and that one little thruster is going to allow me to adjust my final orbit. Let's assume once I get into orbit, I need to be able to adjust it. So uh, I may go with a different design. I've already got in mind what I would do differently. But let's launch and see. Um, Let's pick a target then. I want to put this satellite at uh, 80,000 meters. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on SAS, Stability Assist. I don't need to throttle up because these are solid rocket boosters. Turn on my maneuver mode. Let's go. So I'm trying to turn this thing over to the right. Man, that's a lot of thrust. My Apple apps is shooting up. It's not really a very efficient burn at all. So 
surprised those fins didn't break. Traveling very, very fast, very, very low in the atmosphere. So I'm not going to jettison my fairing just yet. Enough delta V in that final stage to completely circularize my orbit. So this is going to be close. Let's see. Let's go ahead and float up to closer to my apoapsis. Starting to slow down because I went straight up practically. My battery is slowly draining, so I gotta get this fairing deployed soon. Let's see, okay, 30 seconds away. Let's go ahead and point prograde. Nope, let's point to the horizon. Couple and let's light the candle. So I suppose I don't need to completely circularize with this engine because of the fuel I've got and that one little thruster. The mono propellant that I have. But I did overshoot my orbit. So to be fair, I'll try to get the 80,000 meters. Seven hundred, six hundred, five hundred left, four hundred meters per second left. I'm gonna overshoot. All right. <laughs> okay. So I I ditched, thankfully, without damaging the payload. I wouldn't say this is a stable design then because it couldn't rely on ditching like that every time without this thing blowing up. But um, let me go ahead and time warp to get rid of the strange wiggling. So now I need to lower my orbit. Um, 15,000 too high on the periapsis. 80, 50, 95,000 too high on the apoapsis. Is that right? 75,000? I'm not, not no good at math. 170 plus 15. I'm at the periapsis. Let's go ahead and drop my apoapsis then. Let's work there. 7.5 units of monopropellant. That's not very much. Then 80, 79. Let's go prograde. And let's adjust the thrust. Let's try this again. That's promising. Oh, yeah. Okay. So then besides the delivery method of that last stage being an SRB with a little too much fuel, this works. Let's go all the way to the periapsis. Okay, 21 seconds away. Need to come down. 15,000. Oh, need to come down 15,000. Oh, perhaps it's moved. All right. That's warp right there. Well, I call it a success. There you have it, a tiny satellite with the ability to adjust its own orbit, to receive signals, generate power, full control for less than price of the satellite the game gives you for stock so if you wanted to you could put up a fleet of these little things one at a time should not be the most uh, efficient way to put them into orbit I guess you probably want to bring a bunch so you'd need a larger rocket for that but I like building tiny things trying to put them in orbit so that'll do circularized around 80,000 meters like I said that's a success there you have the Picosat. Cool. Well, that's it for the video. 
I'll have to keep it short, which is fun. If you uh, like like to get anything out of it, hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already, leave any suggestions of any videos you want to see, and I appreciate your time. Hope to see you next time.